Okay. Hi. We'll get set up here. Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Lardson, and this is Read, Write, and Sight, the show where I teach you how to read, write, and sight for your college classes. Recently, um, with some of my high school classes, I've been uh, going back and making sure that I'm covering the bases. I'm given all the foundation that they need so that they can write really good, uh, well thought out, reasoned essays, right? So I, I stopped and I thought, it's like, oh man, what are all the things that they need to know to be able to write a good essay? The kinds of essays I expect in my college classes. And I came up with a list of about 15 things. So I figured, you know what? <laughs> I've been thinking about this anyway. I should probably cover this in videos for this channel. So here we go. This is lesson one. What is an essay? All right, so let's talk about that. What is an essay? An essay is it's a, it's a form of writing that is going to evaluate ideas and argue a point. Does that make sense? If we think how an essay is similar or dissimilar to other kinds of writing, this is the thing that really makes it unique. It, it's going to look at ideas. It's going to weigh them. It's going to evaluate different sides of an issue. It's going to look at what's, uh, what's good, what's not. It's going to look at the evidence in support of it. And ultimately, it's going to come down on one side or the other, assuming there's only two sides. But it's going to argue a point. This is what makes an essay unique and distinct from other forms of writing. Other forms of writing might look at both sides of an issue and not make a claim. Well, that's informative, but that's not persuasive. That's not an essay yet. Does that make sense? A, a research paper may present lots of information. It may look at evidence. It may look at different sides to an issue. It may present findings, but it's not going to argue a claim in the way that an essay does. So again, a research paper, not going to be the same as an essay. A story can have a moral. It can look at different sides of an issue. It may talk about race or, or gender or, or some big topic and have uh, something to say about it. But its purpose is perhaps maybe to entertain. Its purpose may be to do something not the same as what an essay is trying to do, which is just straightforward. This is the issue. These are the points. This is the argument. And that's something that other forms of writing can absolutely do. But that is what makes an essay unique and distinct in its own right. It's trying to make an argument. It's trying to make a case. Now we see different forms of this kind of writing throughout the world. If you go to a news site and you're going to see someone's trying to argue something, to distinguish it from other types of news, they may call it an opinion piece or an editorial or they might mishmash the two names together and call it an op-ed. But it's going to distinguish it, that this is someone's opinion. This is not news. That's an essay. It may be written. It may be spoken. If, in this video, I was trying to make an argument, and to a degree you could say that I, that I am, you could call it an essay. A vlog could be an essay. A speech that a politician gives could be an essay. A commercial on TV could be an essay. If they're meeting these same criteria, if they're evaluating ideas and arguing a point. Does that make sense? The point I'm trying to make is that this is not something that only exists in an English classroom. And I think that's important for students to understand, whether that's you or you teach students. This is not just something that someone a long time ago decided was important it's still important today. And it's important that we learn how to do it well. And the rest of these videos are, are going to cover this in detail. But for this video today, let's understand why some of these skills might be important. Why would someone want to write an essay? Well, maybe they need to make a point. Maybe they need to uh, present information to, say, a school board. And the school board needs information on a topic, and they have something specific to say to get across. 
That's an essay. It's also a very real-world situation. Let's say a politician wants to clearly state her or his message to their constituents. This is what I'm trying to do. This is why I'm trying to do it. This is how it's going to help you. Help me help you. That's an essay. That's a skill that's not just tied to an English classroom, but that, that affects real people. If that same politician then goes to the floor of Congress and presents that case, that argument, to her or his colleagues in the, in the House or the Senate, and they're trying to make a case in committee or whatever, and they're trying to get their point across. They're making an argument. An argument is that basic structure within an essay. They've got claims to make, points they're trying to make, that they're backing up with evidence and statistics and hopefully using some logic. And they're explaining things that are going to affect real people. That's a real-life skill. Let's take this down a, a bit. Maybe you're trying to talk to a parent. You're trying to convince them, hey, this is the thing I want to study in college. Or this is the job I want to go into. And you've made a pro-con list and you want to explain that to them. That's the structure of an essay. I'm going to look at this side, I'm going to look at this side, and I'm going to say what I decided. That's an essay. These are things that anybody can benefit from knowing. Anyone who has to communicate ideas, opinions, decisions to any other human would benefit from the skills you learn when you write an essay. Now, something that makes an essay unique and distinct is typically we think of it as, as being written. And so it's going to challenge you to do this in writing, not just to be able to articulate it out loud, but to write it down. And for many people, if they're not used to it, it's challenging. I, have, uh, I, I teach night classes often, and some of my students are, are older, and they, and they, they come into me, and it's like, Man, you know, Dr. Lartz, and it's been 15, 20, 30 years since I've been in school. I don't, I don't know how to do this anymore. And I just say, hey, do your best. And we build it from there. And once they have the confidence, they realize, oh, they got this. Because it's an everyday skill. But then learning the writing piece can be tricky. It can be difficult for anybody. Especially if it's been a long time since you've done it. And just because you've done it doesn't mean you can't improve or necessarily that you're doing it very well. So the rest of the series is going to hit on some of these points. We've talked about what an essay is, what kind of makes it unique. We've talked about why someone might want to write one and, and how it's different than other forms of writing. In the rest of the series, we're going to go into detail about how to recognize an author's argument, how to present evidence, how to look at how to read someone else's root. We're going to go through the whole gamut. So I hope that this, this video was helpful to you, that you come back and watch the rest. So thank you so much for watching this. I'm Dr. Jacob Lartz, and this has been Read, Write, and Sight. I'll see you in the next video.